good afternoon and this is the travel vlog man and this afternoon I'm in the beautiful Perest. Um, this is an absolutely stunning little village um, it has two churches uh, on islands just outside Perest and we're gonna have a little walk through um, it is I think a UNESCO heritage site has the beautiful uh, Montenegrin stone houses, churches. We've got a restaurant here on the left hand side which is um, right on the water and uh, I think it's called the Otok Bronza restaurant. Um, you can't really drive down here unless you're a hotel guest, you've got to walk, it's got a lot of um, electric carts um, here you can see to get you around this uh, village as so you can't drive. It's got a little souvenir shop, again some beautiful houses, you can rent uh, sups, kayaks, get a taxi boat over to the uh, to the two churches on the island. Absolutely stunning. If you have a look I'm just going to pan around. Absolutely beautiful part of Montenegro. This is Perest. I'm the travel vlog man, and as I said, I'm in Perest, Montenegro. Um, I'd please could you subscribe to my channel, uh, ring the notification bell, uh, that will let you know when uh, videos drop, and let me know in the comments if you've been to Perest. Um, it's a absolutely fantastic place. Fire engines, uh, so that was the fire station here in Perest. Um, quite a few fire engines. <laughs> Uh, they don't have that many fires here. Um, there's four or five fire engines I've seen here. Uh, but look at the views. Absolutely stunning. Sun's not helping because it's um, it's right above me. Um, but you can see, absolutely stunning. Another beautiful part of Montenegro. Um, Again, it's got lots of old, old buildings. Some have been renovated, some haven't. Um, there's a gate there. A bar here on the right hand side. Calibre, it's a cafe and pizzeria on my right hand side. Again, water on the left. It is a big tourist attraction here in Montenegro. Um, uh, it has little thousands and thousands of visitors every year. I think there's tens of thousands of visitors every year. It's a fairly expensive place to uh, come and live as well. Um, again, you can pick up cold drinks, souvenirs along the side of the road, but again, most of these are all the old Montenegro um, houses. Montenegrin stone. It's, okay, there's another little bar called uh, Locanda on the left hand side again on the water. A nice little bar. And people just sitting on the side jumping in the sea, swimming. It's uh, 10 to 5 here in Montenegro. Temperature is about 30 degrees, maybe 29, 30 degrees. You can see in the distance the two. Um, churches uh, the islands I think one of them is called the Lady of the Rocks I'm not sure what the other one is called people just uh, taking a swim along here um, and sunbathing um, sea is very clear water is very clear absolutely stunning um, another restaurant here called Restaurant and Caf. Here again on the left hand side. And as I said before, um, you've got the restaurant under the pagoda there. If you want some shade, it's the Villa Forest Boutique Hotel. It has its own carts. You cannot drive cars down here, or very few cars, unless you're a resident. There are no tourists allowed to drive some very beautiful villas. That's the uh, hotel, the boutique hotel, the Admiral, 
Mali Hotel Bucharest. Cash machine. Okay. Stunning, stunning, stunning views. Boats moored up, obviously come in, come in for a drink. You can do private tours. 90 euros an hour for the souvenir shop. Absolutely stunning people all swimming in the sea. As I said, it's nearly five o'clock in the evening and it's uh, about 30 degrees and it's full of little restaurants, boutiques, hotels, bars. There's another one here. Conobo Scully, beautiful hotel, people having dinner, late lunch. Um, menu, I always like to look at sometimes look at menus. If I can find it in English, not sure I will find it in English, but we might find it in English. No, I haven't got an English restaurant, no an idea of some of the bits and pieces they do. Octopus Carpaccio. Marinated seafood, sea platter, very little seafood here. There's a little supermarket, Market City Paras, with a supermarket. Again, one of these another beautiful stone houses here in Paras. And people just bring their boats, moor them up, come for a drink, um, come and have uh, maybe some lunch. And we've got the church here in the centre of Parast. Absolutely beautiful church. Don't ask what century, I haven't got a clue. Um, but it's an absolutely stunning church with a huge bell tower. Beautiful church. It really is a lovely church. Um, certainly dates back before 1680, uh, 17th century, St Nicholas Church, it says it's 17th century. Um, creams and cakes there, well that's probably ice creams. Um, and then another Conti Hotel restaurant and bar here on the left hand side. It's going to get a, bit quite, a little bit more busier now. Uh, quite a few tourists. That's the restaurant Conti on the right hand side, but that's where it is on the outside overlooking the bar, um, sorry the beach, the bar's overlooking the beach, um, oh hello, everybody really likes their live seafood, there's some lobsters in there, whether you can see them, you must probably see my reflection but there are lobsters in there, they're very nice lobsters, if you like lobster, again one of the carts will drive people around in this area, um, and uh, another beautiful restaurant here down in Perest. Um, we're all sitting on the front for white tablecloths, all set for either late lunch or early dinner. I think this will be early dinner now because we're getting near six o'clock. There's a choice of fish in there. Very nice fish in there. Nice waiters also. And Luca, the nice waiter here in this restaurant. Give us a wave, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's the Dardin restaurant. So that's Luca and the boys ready to do octopus with vegetables in the oven, pressed cake, fresh fish, and seafood. It is pretty much seafood here. Um, absolutely beautiful, pressed. Words can't describe it's it's the location is fantastic and uh, it's got a lot of beautiful now this hotel I believe is a five star um, hotel I'm not sure what it's called I think I want to call it it's an Ibera star but it's not it's a heritage grand Paras it says so on this electric cart that bring flows the guests around everywhere there's the courtyard where you can have um, you can have uh, dinner. And that actually is set for a wedding. So somebody's got a wedding here. So we're going to have a beautiful wedding. Reception is going to be outside. There's the top table. 
Um, is somebody called Sladana and Nicholas is their wedding. It's a beautiful wedding. And that's the top table. I'm just going to film that. Absolutely lovely. And obviously the table's all set out for the guests at the Grand Heritage. I'm not going to interfere. I just wanted to show you that there was a beautiful hotel, beautiful rooms here, absolutely stunning. It really is a, it's a nice hotel. It's, um, it's hotels in something called the Smisha Palace, 18th century, uh, and that's the Heritage Grand Hotel. Very nice. It is five star. Very, very nice. Beautiful hotel. As I said, there's a wedding going on there. And um, it's a nice place to sit and have a drink. And some people got some food there. I don't know if there's any octopus being served, but it's very nice. Now let's have a look at the menu. the menu in this particular restaurant salmon fillet grilled octopus they love their octopus here they must have a lot of octopus I've noticed on a lot of the menus here in Perest you can get octopus if you like octopus you can have it um, Absolutely. Again, in that old building is, is obviously the restaurant, and then again some little boats moored in here, and again more souvenirs. You can get taxi boat, panorama tour, one hour, lots of different ice creams. Let's have a look at the ice creams. What ice creams have they got on offer here? Hazelnut, vanilla. Look at chocolate pistachio, wild fruit, there's a nice banana split, walnut, honey dream, at the back, chocolatino, panna cotta, raspberry panna cotta, stracciatella, coconut with bits, strawberry with bits, I like a few bits, and a cookie one for the beautiful ice creams. Again, people just turning up in a little, uh, dinghy, come for a drink, maybe some dinner, and then some of the taxi boats. I'm going to continue this walkthrough tour of Parast. I've been run over by one of the electric carts that take the guests around. This is Bistro Voyager. Open from 8 to 1 in the morning. Again, it is all seafood, um, main dishes, you can see that. Chicken tikka curry. Oh, that's the first time I've seen a curry. Then lentil coconut tortilla wrap. Aged dried beef burger. The seafood, the obligatory seafood. Fish burger, sea bass, calamari, prawns, seafood spaghetti, steamed mussels, seafood platter. No octopus. Maybe they're not doing octopus. Um, again, another little uh, souvenir shop. Free wine tasting. Ooh. There you go, if you want some wine, free tasting here. Again, all the um, souvenirs, hats, it's quite what hot, you might want a hat. And then another market there with cold drinks, some apartments here in uh, Perest. As I said, the sun's not really helping today right in my eye line. Um, another souvenir shop with wine in there if you want some wine and some juices. And there's a museum. Uh, you can get taxi boats uh, out to the island. Um, and here's the museum. I'm on the right hand side. I don't know if it's open, I'm not sure I can go in. I don't know what's in the museum. 
Maybe I should have gone and have a look. Is it free? Let's go and have a look. It's open from October to April, Tuesdays to Sundays. And then it's open from April to October, Tuesdays to Sundays again, 8 to 8, closed on a Monday. So this is the museum. Here's the museum. Entrance fee for the museum is five euros. Uh, with guided services, 15. Children under 12, three euros. Groups, three euros. So reasonably priced. It's got a shop and a calf. And that's the museum. Now out of the museum. And we're getting towards the end of Perez now. There's a 100% natural ice cream shop. And we're also getting towards walking through the end of Perez. Absolutely fantastic. A little town in Montenegro. So this is Perest, well worth a visit. Free to get in, you've got to park your car outside, walk in. Parking's around about six to eight euros, depending which end you park. And I'm just gonna go around and give you another panoramic view. There's the two churches. There's the view. That out there would be, that would take you out past Porto Montenegro, Porto Novi, out to the Adriatic. Coming round, you can see the uh, Rash Church in the distance, and this is the travel of plan saying thank you very much. Uh, please subscribe, and uh, I look forward to um, sending you another video in Montenegro real soon. Thank you.